All right, YouTube, when I make this video, I'm not making it to discourage anybody from what they're doing. Nothing like that. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel and what's real. All right. Sometimes I got to vent too. I've been venting more lately than anything. That's why I'm not really making fitness videos that much. All right. A lot of the footage that you see right now is footage that I've been recording. All right. It's hard for me to make these videos because I can't get a decent workout in, man. And why? Because, okay, for instance, I, it's 3 o'clock right now. I woke up at right before 2 o'clock. Um, I do a swing shift. I work two weeks on days, two weeks on nights. As soon as I wake up, I go hit the gym, right? So I woke up in time to where I could do that, get ready, and then go to work. You know what I'm saying? I do that every day, right? Um, I refuse. I'm not going to the gym, all right? Why well, go to the gym where every day you got grown men and women, mostly grown men, and most of them older than me. I'm 40 years old. I mean, it's a big party. People will just work out next to you just to talk to you. Like, there's no boundaries. There's no, people will touch you if you got your guard down. All right. Now, this doesn't happen to everybody. Or you might, it might happen to you, but it's inviting to you. You go to the gym to socialize. If you go to the gym to socialize, of course, you don't get it. I don't understand. Okay, are you lifting weights? Are you really lifting weights? I'm talking, are you pushing your limits? If you're not, that's cool. You don't have to. That's not what you're there for. I'm not saying you have to be there for the same reason as me. But let me do mine and you do yours. You know what I'm saying? If somebody got headphones on, not catch eye contact with you, avoiding you, trying their best to just put in the work, go talk to somebody else. I mean, literally, there are other people in the gym. It's packed. It's a packed place. I am not there to talk to anybody. But if I was... I would not want to talk to somebody who doesn't want to talk to me. There's no way possible that I'm going to talk to another person, man, woman. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to talk to another person who doesn't want to talk to me. When I say man, woman, okay, for instance, if a guy tries to talk to a woman, right, she says no. Cool. He tried. He got denied, right? Rejected, whatever, whatever you want to call it, right? So if he does it again, maybe it's kind of getting, if he does it again, it's definitely getting kind of creepy. You keep doing it. That's harassment. But nobody says that when do, when it happened to dudes. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't even got to be a, 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 a advancement like that. It could be anything. It's still harassment. Like, bro, hey, dog, I'm just trying to work out. Let me hit this set. Let me, let me do this, man. I'm not trying to talk. I'm trying to focus on my workout, bro. This takes focus, all right? I'm in here working. You in here playing and chilling and doing that. Do that with somebody else. I say that to these people. People ask me, why you don't never say that to them then? Dog, you're not there. They don't care. It's like, what I'm going to do? Fight them? I can't do that. I'm going to get kicked out of the gym. Now I'm the bad guy. Everybody's like, well, you can't hit nobody because it... I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to still work out. I'm going to just do a little home workout, a million push-ups and some dumbbell curls and overhead press with the dumbbells I got. I don't have equipment like that. A lot of people be like, man, you should just get some equipment at home. I don't got room at home for equipment. I, I'm, I'm, in a, I, I'm, I'm not in the same situation as everybody else, all right? And at the same time, the equipment that I need costs a lot. I ain't in that financial situation right now. You know, I'm working on it, but uh, it takes. It takes time. And I need a lot of weight because I'm strong. I want to get stronger. To get stronger, I have to keep lifting. That's 500 and something pounds. I'm supposed to have been at 600 pounds. But every time I got more than four plates on each side, I have a million conversations in between my sets. People will come over there. People will talk to you. They will pat you and tap you on the shoulder and try to have a 50-minute conversation in between your sets. Now your next set ain't going to get done. And if it does get done, it ain't going to get done right. You ain't got the focus. You ain't got the energy. You done talked into you blue in the face. You got to be on your own rhythm. People don't understand that. If you don't lift, I, I, I understand that you don't understand. But you need to understand that you don't understand. I'm talking big sense to people who lift. All right, so it's like, and it, it's almost a crime to, to really get fit. It's almost a crime to really work out. 
you're not supposed to lift weights in the gym. There's other rooms. Yeah, they, they pay their membership too, and they should be able to do whatever they want to do, but they don't have the right to other people. You got the rights to the equipment, the water, the lights, the, the dumbbells, the kettlebells. You name all the stuff. I did that in another video. I'm not going to do that in this one. All the stuff that you pay for inside of the gym, you pay for that. You didn't pay for the people. If the people don't want to talk to you, well, they paid their membership, but guess who else did? I did. And I pay my membership to work out. You you see, like the um, I'm gonna do a video on that too. But like when they say gym etiquette, they talk about um stuff that's better beneficial for the gym and the owners. They ain't talk about and the workers or whatever. They talk about they don't say nothing about gym etiquette. They got a sign on the wall. That's what I'm saying. They got a sign on the wall that says gym etiquette. Come to you know your classes on time. You know make sure you you know. They don't say nothing about letting other people work. They don't say nothing about it. I'm going to do a video on that. Stay tuned. I mean, for real. Um, But yeah, man, honestly, I'm going to still do fitness video. I'm still repping time fitness. All the videos that I got, how to do this and how to do that, how to lose weight. I lost over 100 and something pounds. Repping time fitness, top 10 misconceptions about weight loss. I link that in almost every video. Nobody watches it. It's cool. But I'm just saying it's like, it's hard to make those type of videos because of what I just, all the stuff I just said. And then the fact that it ain't going to get watched, all right? I make a video about something else. Look at my top, go to my videos and, and type. Yeah, go to my videos, hit the most popular button, see which videos has the most views on my channel. And I ain't talking about on shorts. I'm talking about and on shorts, both. Go to shorts and long. And I'm not saying that to get more views. Because this is what, 11 minutes in the video? Most people... They ain't listening. They done clicked off already. Two minutes in. They just clicked. They see the video. They, oh, let me watch it. And no, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to hear that. He ain't making no sense. Uh, Whatever. Because they're those type of people. They won't listen. They won't listen. All right? They're not going to listen. So look at the videos that's the most popular and look at the ones that ain't. Top 10 misconceptions about weight loss is not a very popular video. It got like 4,000 some views, but it's been up for like... Four years. I don't know. Probably long. I don't know how long that video been up. I I actually took a pen and paper, wrote down some points, and made a video teaching everything I did to lose all this weight. But all these people got these weight loss goals. They don't want to hear. It. I talk to people in the gym. All right. Sometimes I talk to people in the gym. People ask me for advice. My biggest problem with most of these people ain't asking for advice. Most of the people, they're just trying to socialize, and that's what's getting me mad. The people that's asking me for advice, they don't usually get me that mad. I'm willing to give advice. Just don't stop me in my set. Don't put me in danger, and don't mess up my workout. Not too much, you know what I'm saying? You can especially just talk to me after I'm done, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to do that. But the people who ask for advice, they get on my nerves, too, because they come over, they ask for advice, and then they try to teach me some stuff. I'm not here for that. Then we're going to get in that long conversation. You know what I'm saying? Then the workout is done after that long conversation. Where's the work? I'm tired of not putting in no work. I tell people all the time, put in some work. Where's my work? You know what I'm saying? So, I would usually try to cut the conversation short at that point and tell them, I made a video about it, all right? So, if you want to know in depth, I made a video about it. They, oh, I want to watch the video. I want to ask you about it in person. Dog, I'm doing something. Dog, do you not see me doing something? Anytime you do something that another person can't do, they're going to either critique your form or they're going to come over there and stop you or they might even congratulate you a bunch. But at the same time, that can get too much too because at the end of the day, if I just did 455 on deadlift and I need and I put 500 on a deadlift and I got a, and I just focus, you see me with the focus before I did the 455. You know what I'm saying? You see me take my little time in between my set, breathe, focus, get in my mode. I'm playing my music. You know, I'm picking the right moment to lift that weight. And they always wait until you right about to lift the weight. They can tell. They looking. They've been watching. They come over there, swing over there. It was so, uh, like, nah, man. You know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So if I had to focus on that 455, what you think I got to do to the 500? What you think I got to do to the 525, the 535, the 545? I literally never lifted more than that before. Even though I lifted those weights, sometimes it's easy. 
I'm supposed to be doing well over 600 right now. But after a long conversation in between, let's say I did 535 and it felt so easy that I know I got 600 today. I know I got 585 or something like that. Something that I ain't, I'm supposed to have been done that I ain't done yet. As soon as I put that weight down and you come over there with that long conversation, it's the best, it's the most intelligent move for me to not even do it no more. Okay, the workout is done. Because I'm out of my mode, I'm out of my focus, everything's going to be done wrong. I'm going to pick that sh up way wrong. You can say whatever about my form, but a lot of people, they say that and they can't lift it themselves. Stop teaching people that you stuff that you don't even do. For one, a squat and a deadlift is two different things. Everybody think that you're supposed to have squat form when you're deadlifting. You don't even lift. And if you do lift, you don't even lift that much. Just don't. Just don't. All right? <laughs> don't do that, all right? Because somebody's going to listen to your advice and they're going to get hurt. Or they're going to listen to your advice and never make the progress. You're, nah. So now I'm going to just take a shower. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to take my time. I will take a nap, but I got to get up. I got to work. This and that and the third. People don't care about that, though. People don't care about what you got to do. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? People don't care what you got to do, not at all. They don't care about your time. And when you're in a rush and you only got a few minutes of time, they want to take that. People are life suckers, man. People are life suckers. And, and, and if you're not doing nothing, it'd be the, it, and the bad part about it, it's always the people who want to talk to you in the first place. People who try this out. Go around somebody who never talked to you before. You've seen them a long time. They ain't never talked to you before. Put some headphones next. Put put some headphones on next to that person. Watch that person come hold a conversation. Get on the phone next to that person. Watch that person go try to butt into your conversation and say things. Uh, anything. Get into a conversation with somebody else. Do something. Pick up a book and start reading it. Watch. It don't matter what it is. It's the same thing in the gym. Ain't nobody lifting, all right? For those who are scared and intimidated by thinking that everybody in the gym is such big bodybuilder, strong, fit, muscular men, women, and whatever, nah, they not. The people you see in the gym is the same people you see when you walk through Walmart, go to the movies, or wherever else. It's the same people, all right? 95% of people in this world don't do nothing when it comes to fitness. They learn a little bit. They might try a little thing here and there. They ain't really into it. They're looking for the quick, easy route. They're doing tricks and gimmicks, and they ain't putting in no work, and they ain't doing no research. <laughs> and I don't know how you did it. Because I bust my... You know what? I was studying. Like, the people I was studying, they don't even do YouTube no more. YouTube is a clown show now. When it comes to fitness, all right? It's a soap opera. It's hard to learn anything about fitness because everybody's just talking about each other. This guy said it and that guy said it. It's a reality show, all right? But back 10 years ago, it was much better. Way, way better, right? There was a little bit of that in there, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you had your rivalries. But those, they was going in on those rivalries, all right? But, uh, like, it's like... The game didn't change. But what I did was I was studying everything from everybody that I was trying to be similar to. All right. You're never going to be exactly like nobody. All right. At the end of the day, you never know. You know? And so you try. You might be better than me. I be telling people that all the time. How do you do that? I'm like, dog, you got to try. All right. I can, I can tell you everything to do. But if you don't do it, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? I can tell you everything that I did. What's the point? There's other things. There's other ways to skin the cat. This, you know what I'm saying? But I tell you the easiest way to do it is slow and steady. Slow and steady. The long route. The route that everybody's scared to go. It's going to take too long. The long route is actually quicker than the short route because the short route, it never happens. <laughs> I'm going to get a six pack in two weeks because somebody told me this and this. And then guess what? Two weeks come. It didn't happen. Four weeks come, you still doing the same shit. Didn't happen. Two years later, it didn't happen. Well, if you would have went the way I told your ass, you would have been done it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come on, man. 
People be tripping, man. Everybody be tripping, man. And tripping is like very contagious. That's why I be tripping. I've been tripping this whole video, man. But it is what it is. But I'm not going to the gym. I, I, I'm not going to the gym. This is why I'm not going to the gym. I refuse to go to the gym. I'm supposed to have been doing a home workout instead of making this video. I might not even do that. You know what I'm saying? I put in more work. I got in more workouts than anybody that's going to say, you waking your life away. You ain't going to work out. You messing up. You know how many workouts I done done? Man, I done, man, don't do that, man. Don't do that with me, man. I done done way more workouts than you done did whatever you done did before. Hey, well, it's the truth. It don't got to make sense. Hey, man, comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm done, man. Every time I finish, watch my good videos. The one